guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video we are going to be talking about male size charts so i started this series about um, size chart generally we have the female size charts we have the children's size charts and now we are talking about the male size charts so under the male size charts we are going to have two series for the male size charts so one thing i'm going to say is that when you are taking measurements for male or for guys please go ahead and make sure that your tape measure is not fitted so you are not taking your measurement like very fitted it's usually very free on like the female body when you are taking their measurements i also have a video on how to take your body measurements for male i'm going to link it on the screen and also in the description box below please go ahead and watch the video in order for you to really understand how to take proper measurements for male so one essence about having your size charts is that it enables you to walk and also to like make dresses for male without having or without having to take their measurement directly on their body so with their size chart basically you can produce your dress or your outfits so for guys it's outfits so for size chart generally you can produce like your outfits for them so this video now we have shoulder chest waist and hip why the second part of the series we are going to be talking about your tie your flap you know your bottom that will be the second part of this series and the reason why i actually like broke down the series even though i filmed everything the same day i am going to be seeing the same outfits is because the video might be too long and i don't know if you guys can actually watch like a very long video so i just feel like it's best i break it down so you can watch it you know two different times so now we also have from extra small to six extra large and another thing i'm also going to say aside the way you take your measurements is that comprehensive male size charts is available we have comprehensive male size charts which is available on our website all i'm going to do is to put down the link in the description box and place your order now at the end of this video you will also agree with me that this is just an insight on how comprehensive the size chart is so with that you should go ahead and get your size charts it's actually very easy to understand so let's go ahead now and just get it so let's go ahead now and get it so for our shoulder now we have 16.5 for extra small for our small we have 16.9 for the medium we have 17.3 for our large we have 17.7 now the next one we have so for the next one now which is our 2xl 2xl is also xxl okay so for that we have 18.1 the next one we have 18.5 we have 2xl here because i'm going to explain that later now for 3xl which is xxxl we have 19.3 for the fourth one we have 20.1 20.9 21.7 so this is for the shoulder measurement you can see and basically the reason why we have to xl is that you just like having like a big you know like when it comes to sizes you can be a big 42 or a big 41 like for shoe size so for this now we have two xl however most times they are usually the same thing so let's go ahead now and get our chest our chest is 36 point five for extra small why for small we have 38 the next one we have 40 42 42.5 44 46 we are just adding two inches 48 50 and 52 so we are basically just adding we are basically just adding two inches for the chest now our waist measurement now we have 30 we have 30 32 34 36 we are just adding two inches 38 40 42 43 44 and 46 so this is what we have for the chest now 
Another thing also is that when you are taking measurements for guys or for male, please your tape measure should be, should be very free, okay? It's not fitted like the female measurements. Another thing again is that you also agree with me that there are some men that have pot belly, that have big belly, that is the belly is bigger than the chest. So for such men, you are going to use the waist measurement to place them on a particular size. So when you are dealing with men that have big belly or pot belly, you will use the waist measurement which is their belly to place them on a size because their belly is the biggest part of their upper bodies. Why for men that have six packs and heavy chest, if the chest is the biggest part of their body, you will use the chest measurement to place them on a particular size and most times because men dresses are always very free it actually sits well okay it actually sits well because it's a free dress so if normally for female now for a female dress normally if your boss is 36.5 you are going to be using an extra small but for male they can use small or medium for a guy that has a chest of 36.5 can use small medium because your tape measure is not fitted so by the time you add allowance to your tape measure the person will fall under small or medium so just take note of that also now we'll go ahead now and get the hip so the hip of course you guys know what hip actually means <laughs> You know what hip actually means, right? So let's go ahead now and get our hip. So the hip now, the next one, the first one we have is 36.5. We are adding two inches as usual. We have 38, 40, 42, 42.5, 42.5. We have 44, 46, 48. 50 and 54 so you also this is what we have for the hip area this is the measurement for the hip measurement for waist chest and shoulder like i said when you are taking measurement for guys their shoulder usually drops and please go ahead and watch that video on how to take body measurement for male i'm going to link it on the screen and also in the description box it will enable you to know how to take your measurements you know on a male body but if you are working with size charts which i feel like you need to step up your game everyone should have a size chart it gives like a guide on measurements to use to create outfits for men either you're creating ready to wear outfits or you're creating um native outfits it just guides you and like i said earlier the size charts the comprehensive size charts which is a whole lot is available and the link is going to be in the description box below now this is basically what we have so this 3xl can also you know be xxxl so basically just like xxxl you can just change like this two three four five to roman numeral basically so I remember I just said that I was going to explain that. So please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section. Join us on Facebook, TG Designs, on Instagram, TG Designs. And also watch the next series of this meal chart. So the next series of this meal chart, I'm just going to give you like an in of what we have in the next series so that you guys will definitely watch it. So in the next series now, we are going to talk about your time measurements, which you know that time measurements are very important for meal because it enables you to know the measurements to use for the trousers we have the cuff area that is if you are making your dress the cuff area for their sleeve you need to know the cuff measurements to use for a male sleeve you also need your neck measurements and your sleeve measurements so this is what we are going to be having in the second part of this male size chart like i said i split the video because i don't want it to be too long and i hope you guys understand so once again thank you so much for watching if you have any question please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section and then let's move to the second part of this video bye